Hello, prep careers. Here's the work for August 6th. We are going to review slides 7 and 8. Um, today we're going to be talking about relationships and lifelong learning. Relationships are a big factor that affects us. Um, having people in your life to care about you feels good. It's nice to know someone is there to help with good times and struggles. Um, knowing how to get along with others is important because it fosters relationships. And caring about others is a good feeling. It makes us feel, makes life feel less lonely. And plus it's good for us to do things for other people and be in other people's lives. And that social connection is really important. We're going to watch a little clip about relationships. If you talk to someone that has recently moved, started a new job, or retired, and ask them what they miss most about their past situation, one of the most common answers is that they miss the people that were in their life. What that actually means is that they miss the social connections or relationships that they had with those people. Social connections or social interactions with other individuals is crucial to mental health, which in turn is crucial to overall health. The lack of social connections has shown to increase stress hormones, weaken the immune system, and lessen cardiovascular functions. People who are lonely tend to consume more alcohol, exercise less, have less quality sleep, and fatigue easily. Social relationships allow you to share your achievements and have support when times are tough. Imagine achieving a long-term goal you have. What's the first thing you want to do? Tell someone about it. Or imagine if something terrible happened. Not having someone to lean on and talk to can make that event linger and make you feel even more isolated. Giving support in relationships can actually be more beneficial than receiving support. When someone shares something positive in their life with you, it's a compliment. They wanted you to be a part of their success, and they know that you have a sincere interest in their life. And when someone shares a tragedy in their life, you know they really trust you. They're looking to you to help them through this difficult time. Now, some social relationships can be bad. A person is constantly negative and has a poor outlook can bring you down and cause stress, making that relationship toxic. Someone that always talks about themselves and makes all of your interactions about them, well, that's not really a social connection. In that case, you're just an audience member and they're one person show on how wonderful their life is. Poor marital or poor relationship quality can also weaken the immune system and erode physical health. Dealing with stress from a poor relationship can lead to overconsuming food or alcohol, smoking, or taking medications that deal with the stress, which in turn can damage systems in the body. Connections through social media can be beneficial by allowing you to stay in touch with friends and family. However, social media connections are not a good alternative for face-to-face -face and in-person contact. And too much time spent on social media can lead to more isolation and a greater feeling of loneliness. It's a good practice to use social media in moderation. To be healthy, we need people in our lives. It doesn't need to be 5,000 Facebook friends, and we don't have to have everyone like us. Having strong social relationships with just a few people is fine. A few people that we can share life's good and bad moments with, a few people that we can connect with on a regular basis with no stress and no judgments. A few people who accept us for who we are. Surround yourself with good people, folks. Good people. So now that we watched a video, um, it stressed the importance of having, you know, good social relationships and um, how that affects us emotionally. Um, the next slide is lifelong learning. Um, that affects us because we should always in life be learning and um, and growing, um, it is important to learn new things to exercise your brain. To know more things helps you solve problems in life. Learning new things can improve your memory and skills, and new skills can make you a more valuable employee. And the more experience you have in life, the more learning you will do. So being in high school, you are still fairly um, new in your your life spanned and so there's still quite a few years ahead of you that you have 
to learn and gain experience and knowledge. So just remember that it's very important to keep um, learning new things, whether it's your, you know, going out and um, trying to find out, going to the library and trying to find out, um, you know, a certain topic that you're interested in or um, just reading books in general is, is good for you. Um, maybe you want to know how to change a tire and you find a book at the library about changing a tire or you look online and find YouTube videos on how to change a tire um, and then you actually practice doing that. Um, maybe you want to know how to change a furnace filter. That also could be something you look up on YouTube or you ask people around you to show you and do hands-on um, things. So learning can be formal um, in the way of like going to school and learning, sitting and learning a subject um, from materials, or it could be informal where you're going out and you're just, you know, living life and you're, as you go, you are questioning and finding out information pertaining to something. So those are two important things, um, factors that affect your life. So now you will um, go ahead and after we've reviewed the relationships and the lifelong learning, you will fill in the notes for the proper word that fills in the blanks. The first one has two. And the second question, this is the first one we've had that's had only one. Um, again, if you have any questions, email me, shoot, shoot me an email, give me a call. Um, but anyways, I will see you another day. Take care. Bye.